Good evening, this is your AI host, Jay. I'm here with the automatically generated, Jernita, evening headlines on April 15, 2023. It's about pride, Louisiana woman sets record for world's largest afro. My vendetta against Putin, the Ukrainian sculptor whose haunting work is shaped by war. Trump news, live, Trump tells NIA he is their fearless champion, despite recent spate of mass shootings. The Independent, former US President Donald Trump appeared for deposition in New York, Letitia James sued Trump. CNN News 18, he spoke a lot, Donald Trump deposed by New York Attorney General. MSNBC, Trump is questioned in NY Attorney General's lawsuit. The New York Times, Trump answers questions for seven hours in New York fraud lawsuit. Spanish woman leaves cave after 500 days in total isolation. The independent, Spanish mountaineer emerges after 500 days in underground cave. Guardian News, Beatrice Flamini, athlete emerges after 500 days living in cave. BBC, Spanish climber Beatrice Flamini leaves cave after 500 days in isolation, latest world news, WION. WION, Spanish woman emerges after spending 500 days living alone in cave. Orient Express to Axe UK section after 41 years due to Brexit. As Putin signs new law on draft, Russia says spring call-up is running as planned. Reuters, Russia-Ukraine war live, new Russian law shows Moscow expects lengthy conflict, warns UK. The Guardian, Vladimir Putin closes loophole that allowed Russian men to avoid military service. Sky News, Putin approves electronic call-up bill, clamps down on Russians who dodge military service. WION, Putin signs bill allowing electronic conscription notices. Tunisian footballer dies after setting himself on fire in police state protest. The Guardian, Nazar Issaoui, protests at funeral of Tunisian footballer who set himself on fire. BBC, Tunisia footballer dies after setting himself alight in protest, Africa News. Africa News English, Tunisian footballer dies after setting himself on fire in protest. Al Jazeera English, Tunisian man dies after setting himself on fire over police injustice. Houthi prisoners flown from Saudi Arabia to Yemen in war exchange. The Guardian, Yemen war, major prisoner swap raises hopes. BBC, dozens of Yemeni rebels fly from Saudi Arabia in prisoner swap. Al Jazeera English, exchange of more than 800 Houthi rebel and Saudi-led coalition prisoners begins. Sky News, plane flies rebel prisoners from Saudi to Yemen. Marjorie Taylor Greene defends alleged Pentagon leaker as white, male, Christian. The Independent, Jack Teixeira, U.S. Airman charged over Pentagon documents leak. BBC, how did journalists find Jack Teixeira before the FBI? The Times, what do the Pentagon papers really tell us? The Independent, Marjorie Taylor Greene's defense of the Pentagon leaker isn't just absurd, it's dangerous. Japan, Kishida smoke bomb sparks memories of slain PM Abe. BBC, Japan PM Fumio Kishida evacuated after what appears to be smoke bomb thrown. BBC, Japan PM escapes unharmed from Saikazaki port after man hurls explosive device. Euronews, Japan PM attack video, Fumio Kishida day safe after Pesson throw am wet and look like smoke bomb. BBC, Japan's PM escapes explosion unharmed after suspected attack. Sudan, civilians reportedly killed during heavy fighting between army and paramilitary forces. Sky News, Sudan crisis, General Al Burhan says army has control of key sites. BBC, black smoke rises over Sudanese capital of Khartoum amid military clashes. Guardian News, Brits warned to stay inside as three killed in Sudan fighting, ITV News. ITV News, fighting a surprise development, says Sudanese politician. This was all for the news. Thanks for listening. Please do not forget to like and subscribe.